what is going on Roland Empire here guys to give you a video I want to um, give a little bit of my talks more on um, Denis Villeneuve's uh, awesome filmography I've have I think reviewed yes Blade Runner and if you have known his Blade Runner take is incredible I really like this movie and I thought have I reviewed the other ones I think I've reviewed this movie but either way, this is still going to serve a purpose where I'm in the mood to review this movie. I want to check it out again. And this guy, incredible, incredible career. And I really just wanted to give just my two cents of like what I enjoy in this movie. You know, just um, give it more of a recognition. Because it's honestly, Denis Villeneuve's incredible filmmaking career is something, okay? Like, film bucks will like him. Um, maybe casual audiences too. People do talk about it here and there. You know, it's mentioned like Prisoners is brought up. Blade Runner definitely is brought up for those those that are like just film buffy darlings and all. But then there's this one too, Sicario. And, you know, I'm, I'm on the fence of like this guy just... Some people, you know, maybe don't like his movies. I liked at least his Americans movies. They're all been good. I think Arrival's been my least favorite and that's still entertaining. But Sicario really is a very intense film. This is a very intense film. I like this movie. Oh, man, with the way it just, yeah, it was written with, I think it was his name, Taylor, Tyler, Taylor Sheridan or something. And it's brought to us by the vision of Denis, helped, helped by the incredible cinematography of Roger Deakins. And this movie really, I, I like to like in talk about it like in three scenarios. I like the way it's set up in the beginning and realizing you know what you know it follows by emily blunt who just this it's this um i think it's like it's officer who gets caught into this kind of like um this case of cartels that's going on and you know you th you think with maybe in certain ways they're like how can you get something like this to be as interesting I, I like it because with her, we are kind of following with her as the audience of what questions we have. And it's a lot of what the world is bringing you that finds it so interesting. And it, founds, it feels realistic. It feels real grounded. And, you know, she's brought to us by Josh Brolin, who is a really entertaining. He's a very fun character. And credit, credit to um, Credence or whatever. Do, you know just he, he he's a very likable actor and he does a good job with that and Benicio Del Toro he is bound to be like this bounty hunter it's sort of like this you know bounty hunter this extra this extra guy just in case you know shit gets more intense and all and I like each per person's chemistry I like each person's characteristic they're so like likable in a very interesting in their own way and um so she gets br brought up and, you know, they get catched up with what goes on and all. And, you know, they're they're trying to find they find these people and they find certain kind of things like, you know, what goes on in this criminal underworld. It's just very intense. Like I said, very eerie, very you feel like, oh, you feel like a little bit of a goosebumps. But the goosebumps is like, man, this is so chilling, like chilling in that kind of way. And seeing also then like a little bit in like the middle act, seeing how. A lot of this also needs to be taken to Mexico and then brought back to the, you know, USA and all. And when they're re reaching the border patrol for the USA, you know, you have these kind of like these thugs. You realize something's up and, you know, they they plant it in a way where, you know, you get into these very condensed situations and you're like, you know, how they're going to get out and all. And, you know, the situations are played out the way they do and all. But still, I like the way things are structured, where things are intense and all. And a lot of this lighting of how, you know, Deacons, just Deacons sets up things of like, you know, when late night, you know, talkings are going on, conversations and, you know, just the way he knows how to put the focus on things and characters and like all these characters and realizing when, uh, you know, climaxes are going to go on scenes and you got, you got to get, you know, like the, like the Navy, the army, just the army to get ready to know what, you know, is going to go down completely by incredible score an incredible freaking score. But these scenes are very intense with the action sequences, especially in the third act. Now, when, you know, you realize, you know, Del Toro is on, on his own kind of mission and eventually, you know, this leads on to him having um vengeance with what went on with his family with this kingpin or you know this kingpin cartel and rather than this like dinner scene that is wow really just very emotional very emotional and just 
It's like you kind of know you kind of know what's going to go on, but you're like, are they really going to go with that? And they do, and it's just oh, man, I, this movie it just shows a nice way of not everything so so as perfect as it is, but still like there's still characters that are relatable. It's a really realistic film. It's a really realistic film. And I really just adore of how incredible of a filmmaking piece it is. It's like, yes, these characters could be still better fleshed out, but I like what the environment brings me. You know, whether like things are like if you judge them by a score of like three things out of something or four things, judging on actors, judging on writing, you know, some of the other things have to carry it so much. And I like that it does carry it. And they're I'm like that they're not too much two dimensional. There's still that third, that third, third, three dimensional kind of thing on them, and it's just a very, very unique way of just seeing how this, how this business, like how this business can be, you know, how it really could go down. It doesn't seem like it's all very fantasy. Yeah, that whole fantasy thing. No, no, no. They try to make this as intense as it can be. And just, it feels very documentary, just not as being documentary because you know this is, you know, a full on budget film and all. But the film, but yeah, with the film and all, and just, but incredible groundwork of just, oh my God, just seeing these people and their lives and how it takes a toll on them and realizing, you know, the, the effects, it just, it comes back to you, how you suffer with effects of what goes on and all. It's just, it really is an, uh, emotional and investing just a very intense of a of a character of a really just just psychological just a very um psychological just look of how just how things like this have to be you know done and all but let me know guys what you think if you know if you think you know this movie is is it you know one of the better works is if, if this is one of your least works let me know like let me know how this did not work for you and if you think it's one of your best ones too give me your reasons of how it ranks with you like is this your best in the filmography of the filmmaker or is this more in the middle ground just let me know all this let me know if you like rank it you know in between a lot of these movies or it's just right there in the sweet spot right in the middle you know all this in the comments below and as always roll an empire laugh smile repeat